This is the audio spectrum of a FM stereo signal. So you see down here in the uh, normal audio range, you have the sum of the left and the right channel. So this is to make sure that if you have a receiver that doesn't understand all the stereo stuff, it will ignore everything over here and it will uh, sound off just the sum of the left and the right channel. So this was done to make sure back in the days people that didn't have a stereo receiver could still listen to the stereo programming without needing any specialized equipment. Now a stereo receiver will then recognize this pilot tone right here at 19 kilohertz that tells it that there's a stereo signal and that there's stereo information present and when it receives this it internally doubles this 19 kilohertz signal and up here is a double sideband signal that contains the left minus the right channel both in the upper and the lower sideband and if you double this 19 kilohertz pilot tone you get the 38 kilohertz carrier that was used to create this double si sideband signal so you can use this double 19 kilohertz pilot to decode the left minus right channel so a total you have a sum and a difference channel and uh, why is that important well, or how do you recover left and right from that well this is quite obvious if you uh, if you add the sum and the difference signal so if you have left plus right plus the left minus right what trickles out is just the left channel the plus right plus minus right will cancel each other out and you're left with the left channel and if you do it the other way around if you subtract the left minus right from the left plus right you'll be left with R or well technically 2R so you have the right channel so with this easy super easy technique you are able to encode stereo information in a signal and yet preserve the backwards compatibility to old mono sets so uh, let's get out of the frequency domain view and let's get into the uh, encoder view how this is actually done so you have your left channel and your right channel up here again left and right and the very first signal that you generate is the sum left plus right here's your summer and this goes into another summer to create the composite signal so your left plus right goes in here then the second you want to generate is the difference signal left minus right and this goes over here to a multiplier a modulator with a 38 kilohertz carrier to create your double sideband left minus right signal so again down here is a 38 kilohertz oscillator and here's a double balanced mixer of some sort and you're putting your different signal right into it and you create a double side banded left minus right signal now to generate a phase coherent 19 kilohertz pilot tone you simply take the 38 kilohertz signal right here divided by two and you throw it in another summing amplifier right here to get the composite signal so again our components are left plus right generated by adding the two channels left minus right modulated on a 38 kilohertz uh, tone as a double sideband which is the difference signal and then a pilot tone which is generated simply by dividing the 38 kilohertz by two giving us the 19 kilohertz so going back to the spectrum this is really all the magic behind stereo coding a signal a mono receiver will only see this it'll only see the audio spectrum and it will uh, sound off the left plus right and a stereo receiver will recognize the 19 kilohertz double them place the carrier right here to decode the left minus right and it'll then either add or subtract the left plus right and the left minus right to get the left or right channels all right that is it that is the theory